Hey guys, this week we're just going to show you a quick look at how we use our music and TV in the back of the patrol. So we've covered it quickly in another video before, but this is just a little bit more detailed look. So basically what we've got is a 16 inch LED TV uh, that's run on 12 volt. We've got that mounted on a swing out bracket in the rear. We pretty much just put it there instead of a rear head unit. It just fit the space better. And also we used to run a head unit with two six inch car speakers and it actually drew a fair bit of power. Whereas with this setup, uh, it doesn't actually draw as much power um, as our old one. So what we do for music, we've got a UE Mega Boom that's plugged in through an auxiliary cord. Then for when we just want to listen to music around camp, we use one of these little USB thumb drives just with um, music that we have on there to play around camp. If we're going away from the car, like down to a river or to the beach or something like that, we can actually just take the UE boom out of the car because um, it's a wireless Bluetooth speaker and it's fully waterproof. So we can just connect this to our phones, leave our phones somewhere away from the water and take this down to the water. And also this having its own battery, we're not drawing as much power off the car all the time. Um, we can run the USB lead from this into one of these ports here just to have constant power going when we've got the auxiliary cord in. The other thing that we can do with this setup is uh, say we get stuck at camp and it's just raining and miserable or some nights um, just when you feel like it. We actually can bring one of these little hard drives along. I think this one's a two or a four terabyte hard drive. We just put some TV shows, um, movies, things like that on this. can just plug it into the USB, import on the TV and um, sit under the awning and watch, you know, a few TV shows or um, a movie, something like that. It saves worrying about like trying to have an aerial, like a digital set-top box or anything like that for this. Um, this TV actually has a DVD player in the side as well, um, so we can do that, but um, rather than bring a big pile of DVDs, we can just bring this, which has got heaps of movies and shows on it anyway, so this works out really good. Small light, you don't even notice it packed away in the car. The sound out of the 12 volt TV isn't the best, which is one of the reasons we went to the external speaker with the UE Mega Boom. Um, it also works just the same when you're watching um, TV or movies. So that really helps if you want to sort of sit back away from the car near the fire and watch a show, you can just turn it up and still hear it just fine. But the biggest benefit to it is obviously being able to take it out away from the car and have that external speaker as well. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. So that's just a quick um, explanation of how we actually use the TV in the rear. Um, had a few people say it's stupid to have a TV in a camping setup. It's not really for a TV, it's just 99% of the time it's just to play music while we're at camp, which everyone wants to do really, so it works really good for that. I'm happy with the way it's set up. It takes up sort of less space than the old head unit did. Um, obviously it's a bigger screen, but being thin it can just mount against the wall here and doesn't get in the way of anything, so we're really happy with the way it's set up and it seems to work really good for us. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next Friday. It'd be nice if you could pull me into town.